Hello Hufflepuff, and welcome to your weekly general reading. I hope you are well. I think I'm doing pretty good. Been getting a lot of stuff done. I think my problem was I just haven't been taking myself too seriously. At least my desires and my wants and whatever. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling good. Hopefully this lasts for a while and hopefully I can keep it up. But anyways, um... There are no dates on these readings, so whenever the message finds you, if it applies, perfect. If it doesn't, uh, then just leave behind what doesn't resonate. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm feeling right about there. I think, I think I'm going to take the back half. Alright, let's see what we got in store for you. Right off the bat, I think that's like three or four cards. Oh, those ones flipped as well. Um, let's see what we got so far. Okay, we have Harry Potter, the uh, Hogshead, Hogshead Tavern, I think, right? Um, Hogwarts, Birdie Bots, Every Flavor Beans. Cornish Pixie, the maze outside of Hogwarts, Pravati, yes we got. You know, I, I, I can never, I, I don't know if it's Pravati or if it's Parvati, um, ever since Parvati on um, Survivor, I, I just don't know how to pronounce anything anymore. <laughs> um, Alright, another view of Hogwarts, but from like the opposite side. Dobby and the Monster Book of Monsters. Well, these ones sure came out pretty darn fast. Alright, let's get you a clarifier card. And then we'll uh, get started. Okay, so two of them came out. <clears throat> Salazar Slytherin, Ace of Cups, and we have um, Eight of Cups, Despair. So, um, let's go ahead and get these so you can see them closer. Okay, I'm going to try to do this right because I noticed in the past few vid videos I, uh, I'm like way off camera. So, hopefully I can get this right. Like I said, new camera, new phone, right? And uh, just a little learning curve here. Hogwarts. Birdie bots, every flavor beans. Eventually, eventually, I will get a new camera. I promise. And it's not going to be a super cheap one either. Well, I mean, it's not going to be really expensive, but... It's just going to be better than what I've got. Uh, Cornish Pixie. And then there's the Maze. And then Parvati and another view of Hogwarts. This one's with the Clock Tower right here at the top. Trying out a new microphone. Hopefully, this uh, sounds a little bit better. The one that I was using apparently doesn't work anymore. Um, there's Dobby and the Monster Book of Monsters. Yeah, I don't know. I think Shiona chewed on the mic somewhere. Something. Something's just not right with it. Oh, whatever. Okay. Salazar Slytherin. And the Eight of Cups, Despair. All right. All right, you know the deal. Give me a moment and let me look these over and see what we've got. Okay, Hufflepuff, I'm going to talk this out because I, I see a little bit in here, but 
don't have the full message just yet. So what I'm seeing is a lot of like unknown and a lot of mischievousness. Um, it's just a lot going on. Okay. And the fact that these two views of Hogwarts came in the same position, right? Like this is from the fr uh, back and this is from the front. So I, I have like this, this turnaround feeling of some major change that's happening. And with the labyrinth, uh, the maze being right here, you know, almost kind of in the middle, I feel like that's a lot of, uh, you know, like a navigation thing, right? Like you're trying to just kind of work through everything. With the Ace of Cups coming out first of the clarifiers, and you know, and he just looks so dapper, right? Like he's so put together and almost kind of like an arrogance, right? Which, you know, Harry's been accused of being arrogant. Um, I just kind of have that feeling of like trying to get this stuff together, trying to feel Trying to feel something, whatever the thought was, it's 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 gone now for the moment. Um, because I was thinking that you know when I put this deck together, and originally when I first started getting these cards, I said I wanted to have Harry as the um, as the world card. But right now, as I'm looking at it, I'm I'm feeling like that magician energy, which when I was doing this, I was like, okay, uh, Dumbledore's going to be the magician card but also in this particular deck he's also the magician in this one which makes sense um but I'm, I'm just um some thought there was happening okay so you have harry with like this this loner outsider energy this um like everybody knows who he is but he doesn't even know who he is right and so he, he's in this journey of just trying to figure shit out. And then with the hog's head, um, oh my God, is it boar's head? No, it's hog's head. Yeah, it's hog's head. What am I saying? Um, you know, you, you've got this, this tavern in this desolate area and, um, it, just that that feeling that feeling of alone again and especially seeing like Hogwarts from the back kind of like you know like you're not welcome like this isn't your area this isn't where you feel comfortable and you're you're feeling all kinds of stuff some of it's good some of it's bad um, and then like with the Cornish Pixie I just get that feeling of like you know like no matter what you do you just can't get any luck you know you just can't catch a break and that's because there's like these these little gremlins throwing a wrench in all of your plans you know just these little things but they could be not like a, I'm not saying like you have these little gremlins chasing you but I'm, I'm seeing these like as your thoughts right you've got the air um, quality of it you know they're flying around and I just feel like you've got all these little thoughts that are just swirling around in your head just kind of eating at you and and confusing you and making you feel uncomfortable about this change that's happening about this you know hey you're a wizard you know like it's just that uncomfortable feeling of something um, something new something unknown a whole lot of everything just going on okay when you get over here to the the labyrinth same thing your that's that's that whole navigation thing that I was talking about like you just don't know which way to go but then there's this ray of sunshine, this ray of promise, this hope. You know, somebody comes along to say, hey, I, I, I got you, you know? And I really feel like because he was overlooking her for so long and then really didn't even engage with her at the, at the Yule Ball, I think, you know, that obviously he he did her dirty okay but she herself was still just very very happy very positive I think she was a really good influence um, 
could have been. Could have been something much better um, if given that opportunity. But I feel like just looking at her as just this, like, this someone comes along to get you out of a tight spot. Maybe it's someone or maybe it's just something. But when, when that happens, now instead of the sun just blocking out your view, now it's, it's on you, you know, it's, it's, it's lighting up your horizon. You know, the, the message comes in this odd, unwanted form, but, you know, it, it, good intentions, uh, definitely trying to be protective. I mean, just, Dobby's just great, right? I mean, like, you've got these two rescuing energies here. And then when you get to the Book of Monsters, I mean, with that, I'm seeing the whole, you know, he it's, a, it's an angry little creature, um, but there is a way to tame it. So, like, if you're, if you're feeling all of this, this energy of, you know, you're uncomfortable and you, you don't, you don't like it, you don't want to go through it, but you have to. Like, that's the bottom line. You know, Harry couldn't get out of doing the Triwizard Tournament. There was no way out of it. It was a contract. Same thing with life. You have to go through these motions. And right now, this is something that you're going through, where you're feeling alone and new to it and desolate and just all these thoughts are going through your head and you're, you're just, you're getting, you're getting good and bad and, and it's just this whole lump just trying to sort through that shit but it's something that you have to go through and there is a way of taming it taming the situation taming your emotions but what it's not is letting yourself fall into despair and wallowing in the bottle okay whether that means you're drinking or you're doing drugs or you're finding some other vice, I think this is coming out as a warning that if you don't look at your messengers or your opportunities as positive things in your life, then you're gonna head here. You're gonna head into that despair. You're going to feel dejected. You're going to feel lost instead of this arrogant and proud and on top of shit and just in control of your emotions like these are your two options and it's it's all going to come to where that information is coming from not not so much where it's coming from but how you're interpreting it if you're looking at it as you know what just leave me alone you're annoying and uh okay you know i'll pity you and until you learn that these are like actually your friends these could be people, these just could be opportunities, these could be doors that are trying to open for you. And if you ignore them and you shun them because you, because it's new and so you're afraid and you're uncomfortable, if, if you do that, if you close the book on those um, people, opportunities, whatever, this is where you're going to be. You're going to continue to feel just wallowing you know you're you're gonna continue to feel that depression you're gonna continue to feel like you don't know what you're doing and you're gonna in, instead of being distracted with this you need to look at these in a brighter light try looking at it from a different point of view not from what was working like in the past because this is your new life whatever came before this whatever came before, whatever changed, that's your old life. The ways that worked before are not going to work now. The information that you knew before, you're supposed to be learning more and interpreting better and just growing. And I feel like right now you have this opportunity to become something more, to get a hold of your emotions, to, to grab a hold of them and control them. Or you're gonna have a missed opportunity so it's really up to you Hufflepuff is how how you look at the situation okay so take some time try to listen with different ears 
okay? Try to see it from somebody else's point of view. I think right now is not the time to be stubborn, especially if you feel yourself starting to fall, okay? All right, well, that's what I got for you right now. Um, as always, I love you guys. Be good to yourselves, and I'll see you next week. Bye.